Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome to the third part of Chess for Beginners. And this time I would like to show you the most basic possible end game. So we have, of course, the kings uh, and one of the sides have the rook. Now we have to know how to checkmate uh, with confidence, because if this happens and we cannot checkmate in 50 moves, that means that's going to be a draw uh, because there is the rule in chess if we don't have the moves, by the pawn, we don't have the capture for 50 moves of white, 50 moves of, or, of black, then this would end uh, in a draw. So sometimes if we play some blitz or bullet or even the regular game, but we have, you know, uh, 30 seconds on the clock, we have to know how to do that uh, immediately. So this is the position which can happen uh, and I will explain you how this could potentially happen. So, for example, we have the position are like this uh, we have the rooks both of the sides have the rook but white also have the pawn uh, very often this is just a draw in this case of course it's winning because white can promote for the to the queen and black cannot do much about that can take this this queen after promotion uh, but that means of course we're gonna have the basic position uh, which i just show you now uh, how to win the only way to win is push the king to the edge of the board. So uh, the winning position looks like this. The king has to be uh, on the edge and our king uh, has to actually control the three squares and then we deliver the checkmate. And this is the checkmate uh, because the king is checked and also has no move. So this is of course winning and this is also what we want to achieve. So uh, let's go back to our position uh, what to do now for black black has to be as much annoying as possible that means um, if the checkmate is possible only on the edge the king has to go uh, as far from the edge as possible that means to the center uh, but if the, we go uh, with the king to the e4 square in this case we're gonna have the kings uh, in the opposite it's called opposition in chess and that means the king this king gonna control all of these squares so if the king goes to e4 uh, in the next move um, the king will be forced to actually uh, move to the f file so closer and closer uh, to the edge so the best move in this position uh, would be king to e5 of course uh, black cannot uh, you know stop the being the checkmate but can make it as hard as possible uh, for white to deliver now there are two ways for the beginners uh, how to actually deliver the checkmate the fastest way is just lock the king in the box so uh, for now in this box this is this is the way to do so how to deliver that we play rook d4 now the rook control all of the squares so of course the king cannot go anywhere there have to go to one of these squares doesn't really matter where uh, so for example king e6 and we just follow with the rook uh, we make this box smaller and smaller so let's say king f6 now if we move um, the rook then we're gonna lose the rook for free that means we have to bring the king uh, and now king e6 and again if we deliver the check too early then the king will escape from the box we can you know set up another box but that's not the point so we make another move with the king and after king f6 uh, we just lock the king in this box uh, and then in this box and so on so for example king g7 uh, very important is cooperation between the king and the rook because rook cannot uh, deliver the checkmate alone uh, so king e5 let's say king g6 uh, now king e6 uh, and after king g7 uh, there are two ways but we follow only uh, the, the box so rook f6 the box is smaller and smaller uh, king g8 and after rook f7 we stop for a while this is the smallest box possible we don't want to make this box smaller this can be very very dangerous so this is what you have to um, know uh, of course there is only one move king h8 now king f6 uh, king g8 
Of course, again, if we deliver the check, then the king will escape. Uh, so the king uh, should, you know, go to the corner. Uh, and after king um, g6, king h8, I hope you would not make the box smaller because that would be the disaster. If the rook goes to g7, this would be the stalemate and that's just a draw so in this position uh, we have to uh, just deliver the checkmate don't make this box smaller so that's very very important uh, of course once you are a little bit more advanced you will start to see other things that you can for example deliver the check immediately because the king also control a couple of squares here uh, and now if the king goes to h6 it's already on the edge so the king can come to to f6 uh, just to protect the rook uh, and the king has to move to this small box uh, so you're gonna start to see things like that and if the king goes to the to the f8 uh, this is also very tricky because this king actually already controls all of these squares and the rook controls these squares so if black moves um, to e8 we're gonna deliver the checkmate in next move uh, and you can think how to do that for white there is the checkmate in two moves so white have to move the rook on any of these squares so any moves is, is good here. Uh, for example, rook g1, waiting move, and the king has nowhere to go. There is only one square e8, and we're gonna have the checkmate. So uh, if you are a little bit more advanced, if you start to see the, these little nuances on the board, that's the way um, to go also. With boxings, as I just show you, uh, there is always the risk uh, that you can deliver the stalemate. Uh, and this sometimes happens for the kids or for the very very early beginners who just know the moves and they try to deliver this checkmate they know already the rule they have to box and at the end they box until the end and then there is a draw so that would be disaster so i will show you one more way uh, it's a little bit longer it takes a uh, five to ten more moves however there is a risk free of the stalemate so what we want to do we choose one of the edges so in this case, it would be this edge or this edge, uh, and we have to uh, push the king over there. So how to do that? First, we move the rook to the opposite side. What we want to do is just cut the king, cut off the king here. Uh, and once the king is on the F file, moving somewhere there, just bring the rook to this file. Uh, and then once the king um, just follows, we're gonna, you know, cut off him in the smaller area area and so on so that's what we want to do so for example king e4 we have this opposition so what we want to do is deliver the check now so the king uh, has to be moved as all of these squares are controlled by white uh, so for example king f3 uh, we're gonna follow with the king uh, king d4 uh, not king d3 king d3 is also possible but king d4 would be more precise why because if the king goes um, to f4 that would be the opposition then of course we're gonna check again uh, and the king would have to move to the g file uh, so the king probably doesn't want to go there probably want to attack the rook uh, and now of course we cannot make the mistake if we follow the king we're gonna lose the rook that would be the disaster uh, so this is why uh, first we have to move the rook just to opposite side the rook is the long range uh, piece so uh, it's of course much faster than the king the king has very short legs so now uh, he wants to follow the rook so king f3 but as you see it's very very slow and here is the trick the king is the in the right position we want to control all of these squares we want this king to follow and then we want to bring the rook to to f8 so of course if the king goes to the d3 then the king will go to the f4 if we follow the king uh, then he will escape so what we want to do is just make a waiting move rook e7 
waiting move and now the king uh, goes to f4 and we gonna do our trick and then again after king g5 we go king e4 again not the opposition here uh, which is also possible I will just also show you that uh, and after king g6 we just move the rook to f1 uh, and then we make this waiting move so all of all of this is well known of course if the king comes to g4 we gonna uh, deliver this this check and the, and we gonna have the king on the edge uh, so the king probably would start to run but we follow this we follow like the like the knight shadow this is you see the knight shadow uh, and we just follow this king so the king tries to escape we follow the king tries to escape of course uh, we can you know lock the king in the box but if we don't want to uh, you know risk the stalemate we are not sure about our skills uh, then we just follow uh, and then we deliver the check and again all of these squares are controlled by the white pieces by the rook and by the king so king h6 and again uh, we just follow uh, the knight shadow and we follow king h5 a uh, king f6 king h4 uh, and so on the rook of course at the end goes to g8 and after king h4 we make this waiting move and now uh, we just gonna uh, checkmate the king cannot escape because this is the end of the board so at the end we would have this beautiful uh, checkmate so that's the way to go of course, uh, white doesn't need to cooperate and go uh, immediately to e4 just to get, you know, pushed to the edge, but can escape on the, on the e file. So again, we can use the, the, the box or if we don't want to, we just follow uh, with the king. So king e7, we follow. Uh, and now if the king goes, of course, to e6, you know what to do. But if the king goes uh, immediately to f6, so we want to skip that, um, then this is good for us because we can cut off the king immediately so what we want to do is not bringing the king um to the to the center to the king uh, but first we just cut off the king bang we cut off the king uh, and now the king cannot get to the e5 so probably king f5 and now uh we can you know follow like the the knight shadow we can follow the king and uh, we also can go immediately um to d5 now the point is uh, that if the king goes to f4 we immediately can jump to e8 without this waiting move which, ju which I just show you so after king f3 king d4 king f2 uh, king d3 king f1 again uh, in this position most of the players would just set up the box uh, then bring the king and deliver the checkmate uh, but if you are not uh, you know confident then still you can play king d2 uh, then of course rook f8 and after king g3 you just simply follow uh, so king g4 immediately bring the rook to the another side uh, and if the king goes to the to the g3 we deliver the check and the king gonna be on the edge so uh it's as you see this is not possible this position is pretty much logical straightforward you don't need to think at all you just follow you just follow this king uh like a vulture who follows the the king and waiting until he make the mistakes and go to g6 which finally at the end he has to do and we are gonna have the king on the edge then we just follow again and after king h5 again rook g8 uh, if the king goes to h6 then we gonna deliver the checkmate and win the game uh, so probably we would have to run after um, after the king and at the end we would have the checkmate now what are the disasters the mistakes uh, which i just show you first of course is a draw by the boxing the king in the in the corner uh, or here it's also possible that if we have the situation uh, let's say like this and we want to you know follow the king make this shadow run shadow knight run uh, then we're gonna lose the rook for, for free we have to be always very aware that the rook is not defended by the king and that would be the the disaster so this is the the second way how we can screw up this game and finally 
if we have this position everything is fine we need about 25 moves uh, in the worst possible way uh, of delivering the, the checkmate so as you see uh, it's a lot plenty of time we still have 25 extra moves uh, but sometimes you want to bring the king uh, to help to to you know coordinate um, the action with the rook uh, and instead of playing something like king e5 you're gonna go with the king to f4 and and suddenly the rook doesn't control all of these squares here all of these squares are not controlled by the rook because the king is blocking this is also very very common mistakes by the beginners uh, because now the king can escape from our net we can deliver the check uh, but the king is already escaping and now we have to bring the rook uh, to this rank and try to push the king over there but if we make this mistake a couple of times that's gonna be a draw 50 moves and that's gonna be a draw so that's the checkmate by the rook uh, the lone rook and this is why this is very very important first end game you always learn is this one so if you like this video if you see this valuable press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like and if you don't want to miss uh, another lessons uh, for the beginners press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and See you in the next one.